Atlanta, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading for the 20th to the 26th of July. I hope you're well and um, and safe and thank you very much for popping in again uh, my Cyber Angel and thank you for your faithful loyalty and your likes and shares and if you're new welcome to the channel and I hope you will subscribe and hit that bell on all make sure my darlings my cyber angels as well that you are still subscribed to your favorite channels because YouTube is deleting members from uh, YouTube that aren't frequent visitors so make sure that you are still subscribed to your favorite channels and in underneath when you hit the bell then you get three choices so make sure that you um, can hit the choice all then you'll be notified and I do notify extra in the community tab um, on YouTube and on Instagram and Facebook when I go live on Monday Wednesday or Friday okie dokie so let's get started with your reading and if you would like to have an extensive reading then make sure that you look in the description box there is all the information or in your top right hand corner there in your screen you will find a circle white circle with an eye and click on that and it will take you to the website now uh, the first card that we have is for Monday and Monday you have the tower an unexpected change perhaps you could not decide or make a choice about a situation or a question so the divine stepped in and is giving you a change boom unexpected but this is a new beginning you can't change what has happened you can't change the past you can only change the present and the future and this is what the divine or the source the cosmos is giving you and the angels don't be scared of it just take it as an adventure when one door closes 20 will open perhaps you've outgrown certain people or out uh, other things and it's time to move on and you didn't want to move on because you didn't know how or you didn't know where to but now the unexpected change is here um, why am I saying that because you've got the moon and the moon also represents Pisces so you might be meeting a new friend or a new partner if you're not hooked up that could be um, a, 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 what you call it a Pisces or all of a sudden you might have got a different perspective on spirituality let it be faith or spirituality like uh, reading cards or psyche or intuitiveness you might be really um, sensitive at the moment because we have just gone into Leo so you might have effect from the new moon okay or the full moon the moon has also got a dark side to it and so that means to say that you have to do more research so do more research as to where you want to go perhaps there are more things like I said when one door closes there are 20 that will open there are more choices to be made so now you are forced to make a choice here you can see the pillars the shadow side and the light side while well, these pillars the angels are with you the cosmos has given you this change uh, change all of a sudden and they say step through the our porthole our doorway we are giving you a new beginning there could be a Pisces involved like I said you are on the right path to your northern note okay so make sure that you stay on your path follow that light listen to your intuitions they might be sharpened or new ideas that or dreams things that come into the dreams make sure you have a notebook or a pad next to your bad bed so that when you wake up you can write down what your dreams were this will guide you to an answer when you sit down and meditate or contemplate and evaluate if you sit quietly and you just close your eyes even if you want to put on music then just sit quietly 
perhaps somebody might be singing and just telling you and this sending you a message through the song just listen to the words that are being said like I said there might be somebody new coming into your life you've got the lovers and the lovers also represent Gemini so it could be a Pisces or a Gemini you might meet a new lover or you might feel that your partner that you have now if you are hooked up is the partner of your life look at that beautiful big heart you have a big heart and you feel that you've met your soulmate wow that could be on Friday and your wish is fulfilled at the weekend so if you're not hooked up you could be meeting a Pisces or a Gemini that will be your soulmate a wish or a dream that has come true with the lovers you are all this too um, um, two people so it's a lot like the two of cups you're emotionally imbalanced and you wow you are you've got the nine of cups that means celebrations but don't overdo it okay cancer okay now you you are imbalanced because the card is number six okay so that's a lovely feeling to be in balance okay So there's a wish coming true or a goal being fulfilled. You have followed your path. Where's the moon? Here. You followed that path and that light. And that is your wish. What you are wishing for in your heart. Look for signs from angels. Feathers or pennies or butterflies. You are in a changing face. Gemini was in a big trans uh, transformation. And you seem to be there as well or you've gone through it already because a nine is also an ending and and where there is an ending there is a new beginning and it will be beautiful definitely you might be um, celebrating with family and friends because your wish is come true Wow then we have the crow and the crow is 13 and 13 is the number for fellowship friendship you might have met a new person or you're making new friends that could be your trans uh, transformation because usually you see in the traditional tarot you see people falling from the sky or the tower and here she's chained up so you're no longer chained up perhaps you're breaking away from bad friends and making new ones because you're going into a new phase and this phase is going to be more stable because these friendships one and three becomes a four are built on proper foundations and the crow is a very magical intelligent mystical bird he uses his intuition it is actually the bird of uh, of a lot of mystical people shamans and witches so he is here to give you a message the crow is the keeper of the universal law the law of truth so truth might come out and that's why <coughs> friends are falling away whether they're true friends or not crow teaches us to walk our talk so do the walk do the talk to find congruence between who we say we are and who we really know ourselves to be so the truth it could be your other half we've got the lovers that could also be representing your other half perhaps your light side versus the dark side so you might be uh, because the moon is spiritual and represents Pisces you might be going within and be meditating and getting to know yourself better and know who you are and what you want and what your worth is this winged one insists that we speak the truth that we create truth instead of searching for it and that we bring truth 
to every situation we find ourselves in. The invitation of the crow is when we speak the truth and practice the truth eventually, eventually everything you say becomes the truth. Your power to co-create with the truth is the universal law. Correct what is untrue. So make it better. If you've done something wrong, then apologize and make it correct. So correct what is untrue in your life without judgment. Let the truth set you free. So after you've set yourself free, you can spread your wings and fly away. Fly away from bad friendships, bad relationships, set yourself free and know who you are spiritually as well as physically. Wow. Learn to compromise. If you don't like somebody, walk away from other people's drama, stay in balance, okay, and learn to compromise and stay away from drama. If somebody's trying to provoke you, then just say, when you've calmed down, then I will talk to you because then we can communicate clearly and truthfully and that's the way you can uh, f uh, um, avoid arguments and quarrels so listen to your inner self be true to yourself and that will also put you into your own strength I hope you've enjoyed this reading cancer take care and please share and like the video thank you bye bye have a wonderful week thank you for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it and remember have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all and i'll see you in the life monday wednesday or friday ciao ciao